reaction right here, right? I looked on the table I again, and I chose this one. Though this one's a very famous reaction. It's called the thermite, okay, reaction. T-H-E-R-M-I-T-E. -E. What you should do, go on YouTube and Google it. The nice thing about this reaction, it generates a huge amount of energy. They actually use it to, um, um, like if you have broken railroads, okay, they actually can actually weld it back together with this particular reaction right here due to the amount of energy, okay, heat energy that it releases, okay? All right, so, okay, all right, so if you see a negative delta H, right, it's not a problem, okay? You know, you look at your reference table, it's at the bottom right there, it's given to you that the reaction is exothermic. Like I said before, this reaction releases a huge amount of energy, okay, no problem. And um, it's used in industry a lot um, to, you know, weld a lot of different things. Okay, so negative delta H, releasing energy, exothermic, right? Now, what is the other way we can represent this reaction as exothermic, right? Where the heat is in the actual equation. So we did endo before, right? And we agreed that if we're doing endothermic, we write the heat on the reactant side, the left side, right? So once again, if you know one, you know the other. So for exothermic, write it down someplace, for exothermic, in terms of the heat, right, in terms of the delta H value of heat, okay, you're going to write down 4AL, okay, plus 3O2, all right, it already phases in solid gas, okay, arrow 2AL2O3, solid, now we're going to put on this side, 3 three, five, one kilojoule, okay? Now guys, please don't call this positive. When this guy, when you see the heat in the equation, right? Do not call this positive. How do you read this? Aluminum and oxygen are reacting to produce aluminum oxide and this amount of heat. So this amount of heat is being produced, this amount of heat is being given off. I know it's confusing students sometimes, they see it over here and they think this is a positive sign, but this is not, okay, NOT, not positive. All right, I'm going to emphasize that. It just means and you're producing that amount of heat. So, once again, negative delta H represents what? Represents exothermic. Okay, if you see the, the reaction or the process, and delta H is written in the side and it's negative, that's exo. Or, or if they write the heat in the reaction and it's on the right side or the product side, that also means it's exothermic. So there's two different ways to represent exo, two different ways to represent endo. Don't mix and match them, okay? Alrighty, and as I said before, right? We got four units of aluminum, four moles of aluminum, right? Producing this much heat. What would you do if they asked you how much heat's produced if you use eight units or eight moles of aluminum, right? So we know that four times two is eight, right? So simply multiply this by two, right? And you double it, okay? Or they can ask you how much heat's produced if only two, two units or two moles of aluminum reacts, right? So you know, four divided by two is two. You divide this by two. So it's nice and proportional. All right, guys, do well.